How you doing? Good evening. Um, I can see that the game is not appearing, so um, ooh, looks like it should be now. Just take a little, took a little while, and we're back at uh, Bennett Field with the SR seventy one, where we left off last time. <coughs> Destiny Gamer, how you doing? And uh, Joseph. Hello. So I thought, you know, I had so much fun earlier. I thought I'd come back for a bit more Aerofly RC8. Haven't done this in, um, haven't done this in quite a while. <clears throat> so um, let's try something different. And we'll stay at Bennett Field. Let's pick another jet. Ah, uh, here's a good one. The Aero. Chapo from jail. Did I read that right, Francisco? <laughs> Is he serious? Well, if you're serious, you're very welcome, Francisco. Um, I hope you're having fun where you are. That's a bit small. Can we make it larger? No, it's already at 200%. Right, okay, so this is the Aeromaki MB339. It's flown by the Italian Air Force. You might have heard of the British Red Arrows or the American Blue Angels. Well, this is the plane that the... This is the plane that the Italians use when they are displaying... Oh, it's a bit slow off the mark, isn't it? How, Mr. SH, how are you? <clears throat> Doing all right, actually. Thank you very much. But thanks for asking. I saw these guys fly. These Ita the Italian Air Force display and demonstrate their amazing flying skills with these um, with this jet last year. And they fly, I think it's about 12 of them at the same time. They fly so close together, it is quite amazing. But the other fantastic thing they do is they they turn on the very patri patriotic Italian smoke. <coughs> In green, blue and white. And it's fantastic to watch them do that. Hey Boris, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us. So we're just giving a little demonstration of Aerofly RC8, which is a RC flight simulator. When I say RC, radio controlled. This is Gerardo, this is Aerofly RC8. So I'm controlling it with my transmitter, uh, my radio control transmitter, and I use this transmitter to fly all my models my real RC models. So this is for, you know, RC pilots such as myself to practice. Practice our skills while it's uh, the weather is not so great outside. So we'll do some nice gentle aerobatics with this uh, MB339 and we'll choose something else. So nice slow roll down the runway, how about that? Pulling up, half roll, throttle back and on the way down, a nice roll on the way down. How about a four point roll on the way down the runway? So we go one, two, three, four, like that. 
Yeah, I do. I've used most of these simulators, Gerardo, and this is definitely my favorite. Others may disagree. I think it's certainly better than real flight because the it's got just got better models in it and since Horizon got involved, Horizon Hobbies got involved with real flight, I think they just only add their own models to it. Which so it hasn't progressed a lot, I don't think. <coughs> We try uh, an eight point roll. Now, I haven't heard of that one. So, this is an eight point roll. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we can fly inverted. Yeah, I think you're right. And there's actually some new glider models in this, including, we'll try it in a little bit. There's a, apparently there's a glider with a pod, retractable pod. Hey, mailman. Have we got any Italians with us? As Ascendino. Sounds like a very Italian name. I could be wrong if I'm offending you and you are not Italian. I apologize. <laughs> Another slow pass down the runway. Circle back. Okay, so we'll turn smoke off. circle back and we're going to put the landing gear down landing gear down so I'm going to be uh, streaming for about an hour so if anybody's got any requests for uh, any specific models you'd like to see flying let me know. Give a uh, super chat and you go straight to the top of the queue. How about that? I think I had the brakes on. And the cockpit opens on this one. Which I think is rather nice. <laughs> what type of merchandise are you talking about Francisco I can only guess so um, let's go back to um, but, but let's pick something here something aerobatic let's go back to the Extra 330S. Yeah. Ooh. 
Oh, I've got a bit of everything, Brian. Thanks for asking. Um, I fly lots of foamies, so models made from foam. I review models for hobbyking.com and Banggood and uh, those companies like that. I've got a 35% um, extra 330 with a 120cc engine, so the wingspan's about um, 2.5 meters. I have a couple of jet jets as well with proper gas turbine jet engines. Uh, composite RF Ultra Flash does about 250 miles an hour flat out. That gets the adrenaline flowing. So yeah, I've got about probably got currently got about 50 models. Never get time to fly them though. Too much um, hard work going on with my YouTube channel. Let's bring this down. Smoke on. <clears throat> it's a bit like balancing a plate on the top of a long stick. doing this so it's only spinning around and round because of the torque from the engine and then you see on the bottom on the tail I'm using the elevator and the rudder to try and keep it vertical Yeah, hover. Uh, there's the MiG-29. I can show you that in a minute. That's got um, thrust vectoring. So yes, you may have. Seen, you should have a look on my YouTube channel for um, a video that's got about four or five million views now. Of uh, the MiG-29. We'll just fly this, fly this for a couple more minutes. So I'm going to scratch my nose. Not the easiest thing to do when you're flying a plane. Oh, nearly touched the wing. Okay, let's land this. We'll try a big of mig, bit of mig twenty nine. Good question from Matteo. Uh, show flight path. I'm not sure it supports that. It's a good question. I have seen that uh, view. Ah, here we go. View transmitter. How's that? Does that work for you? It's a good idea. Rudder, that's throttle. And then you've got ailerons, that's for roll. 
and elevator for up and down. So let's uh, just show you quickly then. Hey Owen, how you doing? Rolling Harriers are probably the hardest thing. You're having to do everything at the same time. <laughs> and uh, I'm not really thinking about what I'm doing to be honest, but I can only do this in one direction, so I'm, I'm by no means an expert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of a fun thing to do. Just looks like I'm. Looks like I'm. Uh, roll. Uh, I'm uh, d mixing the sticks randomly, which isn't far off the truth. Wing tips are always good for slowing down. That's pretty good, isn't it? That little transmitter gizmo. Right, let's uh, load something else. What were we going to do? <coughs> Hovering a jet. Some of the crazy requests you get. Mm. Well, we'll try. Oh, actually, did I load the right version? Standard scale DOMS MIG. <laughs> so the interest you can edit. I hope you you get the sound. You are getting the sound. Let's move this up the end of the runway. <coughs> now, I haven't flown this for a little while, so let me. Um, might take me a minute to get my eye in. Here we go. Taking off. Gear up. Flaps up. So we'll just do some nice passes. Oh sorry, a bit more to the left, I'm with you. You see I have to you have to say explicitly what you want. Is I know why that is because you're not seeing the full screen, are you? Uh, is that okay? Just let me check. I gotcha, I gotcha. Let me um I'll move it up to the top right. Up there. There we go. I apologize for that. Because I've got a wide monitor. Uh Okay, cool. It's here. Right, no. Reset. Let me move back down the end of the runway again. We're ready to go. <coughs> Thanks for that feedback. Appreciate it. Taking off. Okay, here we go. Let's see what this puppy can do. So we'll just try some fast flying to start off with. And then we can slow it down. We can put some smoke on and we bring it to the verge of stall. And that is what we call a flat spin ish.
You notice I've gone a bit quiet, it's because I'm concentrating. I thought hovering a fixed wing model like the extra 330 was hard, this is very difficult. I said it was difficult. As a general rule, you shouldn't fly behind the, the pit or over or behind the pits, but this is a sin. So, what the hell? And this plane does have kind of a mind of its own. Ah! <laughs> And try one of those flat spins again. Ugh. Right, let's land. That's one way of stopping. <coughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the MiG-29. Should we go somewhere different? Let's try a different location. Desert, Arizona, USA. Ooh. Let's load something different. Uh, C5 Galaxy. Look at this. This is actually quite fun to fly. And is a more aerodynamic than you think it would actually just let me oops no I didn't mean to do that sorry 
Uh, ah, fair enough. It's the only version available. I'll go with that then. So flaps. Power. Pull back on the stick. Not very long run, right? Nice to hear of getting new subscribers. That's what that sound is. If you can uh, can hear it, I can I can hear it. Not far off, um, 200,000 subscribers. Getting to 200,000 subscribers would be amazing. So if you're enjoying the show, please subscribe if you're, if you're not already. Look at that, inverted. I don't think the real C5 will have done this. <clears throat> Not something you see every day. Ski man. I've not seen a real C5, that would be quite amazing. Amazing piece of engineering, I suspect. I think I've seen a static one at an air show over here. <laughs> it won't hover. Four point roll. Dover Air Force Base, cool. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, a very large. So we'll do one more pass and then we'll land this one. God, it's already 20 past nine. Time flies when you're having fun. Oh no, I'm trying to loop, to try loops. So I have to gain a bit of height. See if I can get it to do a loop. Yes. Is Gerardo? It would. You have to uh, buy the game and the and the cable. I think there are a few options. You can buy a dummy transmitter from them, but you wouldn't be able to use that with real models. Um, but if you've got your own transmitter, you need to look on the Aerofly website. They will tell you the one that you need to buy. And I guess a way of preventing people from just copying the game and not paying for it I, th I would guess so we're going to try a loop so I uh, full power and I have to dive and pull back then cut the power and hope it pulls up the nose before it gets to the ground which it does just 
Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Mr. Dragon FPV is asking how much. I think it's. Uh, I can't remember, and I'm probably going to be wrong, but I think it's in the order of 150 to 200 pounds, something like that. But it wouldn't take. If you go on the Aerofly website, you'd find it that straight away. Right, so we're going to come in for a slow pass and I'm going to put the landing gear down. Landing gear down, we like to check these things. Okay. Got a little bit low there, didn't mean to do that. This is going to be a, quite difficult to land on a short strip, but we'll try. Oh yeah, look, speed brakes. Yeah, Phoenix, they've uh, given up doing anything more with that, I think. Should we try a glider? one that had a no there's one I thought that had a um ah here we go but it's a pod now just let me look under uh, sign controls advanced Retractable glider engine, air brake. Why is the air air brake on that channel? Oh, I see it's okay. I didn't know that. So, from the middle of the stick up is the engine. Wheel brake, smoke hook, retractable engine is on nine. Okay. Uh. No, uh, well, you say that, there are planes, I think you, well, try that in a minute, I think I could set it so that your view is from the cockpit. Let's just try this first, so, nine. Let's move over here first, I'm intrigued. So if I do nine, look at that! It's a retractable pod. Hi Mario, how are you doing? Mario Nunes. So we'll see how this works. Oh, 
Oh, nice. I'm sure I've heard the name Mario Nunes before. Ah, it's got a gear wheel, just put that up. So if I climb um, and then put the pod away, I'm good, how are you Mario? So I've cut throttle and the pod should have gone away now, retracted the pod and I should be um, I'm gliding. I hear what you're saying, Eric. I will. Uh, we'll see in a minute. Happy to accept requests for. Um, flying different models but I have to say if anybody wants to uh, do a super chat then uh, that would get them to the top of the queue can't say fairer than that can I this flies nicely actually I think I've gone wrong with um, let's do a low pass with uh, gliders in real flight I didn't in uh, aero fly I didn't realize that they uh, how the air, the brake was set up. So we're going to do a turn and a low pass. Nice. All right. So. You can probably think about landing, which I've not done before. But if I put the throttle stick to the bottom, it should deploy the air brakes on the wings. I'm not actually sure when I should do that, but let's try that. Yay, see them pop up. There are little red air brakes. Oops. Oh. Well, I wasn't going to land at my feet. I'm quite impressed by that. So, uh, timber. There is no timber. I think you're talking about something that they'd have in um, real flight, Eric, because I think the timber <coughs> is a Horizon Hobby Z flight model, isn't it not? How about a Super Decathlon? Yeah, but where is it? There is no timber. All models. There's nothing. T, T, T. There is nothing called the timber. So help me out. I don't see it listed. In the meantime, I'm going to see what this does. There are some guys who fly these. I just wanted to see if it was aerobatic, it's not. <laughs> so I won't bother with that. Ah, nice, Hangar 9 Aspire, Ski Man. Sounds good. Oh, we're getting quite a few new subscribers. I can.
Oops, I need to concentrate. Well, this isn't easy to fly. Yeah, I'll do a bit of 3D in a minute, yeah. This is the um, this is the best aerobatic model I think in the uh, in Aerofly RC8. It's good to hear, Ski Man. Not that I know, Dominic. Flight test planes? No. Go back to something fast. Ultra Bandit. I haven't tried this in a while. I'm not sure how fast this is actually. Saw a guy called um, Shulman fly this at a German event many years ago. Somebody was asking about first person view, we'll see if we can do that in a minute.
gear down, flaps down. Oh, got a bit low there, didn't I? Let's bring it round. slow down. Nice. Oh, okay, somebody was asking about we should be able to do this with view, so view. Fly at night, I didn't know that. What is the point of that, I wonder? <laughs> Are there any models with lights? Otherwise I don't see the point. I don't think so. Oh look, oh, there's a wing. Quadcopters, helis, airplanes, but I don't see anything with lights on it. Do you? Anybody want to give me any ideas as to what would have lights on it so I could fly it at night? I don't know. So, let's not do that. Uh, oh, you, you can ch change cloud details. That's interesting. No, you could do that. So you do that. Oh, look, and it's added clouds. Wind and sound. The poor knee, brave night flyer. Should we try um, quadcopter? There's some strange things in here. Excuse me. This. Ah, this will be a favourite. Here we go. Do you like that one? That might be a favourite with the boys.
Yeah, we could try slope storing with a glider. <laughs> yeah, ski man, everything is plastic. I know what you're saying. So let's go to uh, uh, where? Here we go. Let me take you to Switzerland. And we'll load. Let's go with a true scale glider. Here we go. Nearly hit the uh, mountain there. Let's just go over the valley. How's that? Problem is, where do I land? I'm losing height, I'm not getting any thermals. Imagine you were out in Switzerland over the valley doing this. Maybe with a nice cold beer. Be perfect. Anybody like to buy me a beer? Anyone? Land near the camera. Oh man. It's always one. Let's just overfly where the camera is. I don't want to crash. If I can help it, I can't see what the what it's like. Uh, okay. So So I did, I crashed it. I should have put the wheel down. Why didn't I put the wheel down? All right. 
something different how about doing something on water now then now then now then yeah ski man come on you can I was thinking something better than just two little icons jeez some guys scenery we want to find some scenery with some water uh, panoramas? No, I don't think so. 4D scenery, so here we go. Creek Island. Yeah, I put speed brakes on on purpose. You have to do that. Right, I've got another 10 minutes. Oh, how do you do this? Uh, there we go. turned on something didn't want to actually have fire path turned on uh, it's alright don't worry mate I was only messing with you buy me a beer some other time but if anybody else wants to buy me a beer it would be appreciated Now this is one thing they said they had improved, the uh, water effects, it's not bad, I don't know, it's a bit of fun. Hmm, no splash, why doesn't it splash? Splash, you crash. Let's try a different one. Another float plane. Let's try the H2O. Not overly impressed with that. A jet? Is this a jet? Well, this is a first jet on water. Another subscriber. I don't know if you're hearing that sound. Are you hearing that sound, that uh, ringing sound? That means I've got a new subscriber whenever I get that. Getting about a thousand new subscribers per day at the moment. I'm not very excited by flying the water now, I see. And another new subscriber. Let's land. I don't think jets, jets and water really mix, do they? So I've got another 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, oh, let's just try this before we go. This is new. Maybe not. <laughs> Oops. Scenery, load scenery. Let's just try a few other mad things before uh, the end of our little session. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, where should we go? Bavaria? Ah, no, let's go here because. And we don't won't want that plane. 
let's switch back to our no I'm not impressed with it either I thought I was going to be more impressed by that than that and I wasn't so extra 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 oh, there's so many models and uh, balloon pop hey You like the glider, it's funny what uh, pe different people like. Pull up. Oh, God. I'm trying to pop these flipping balloons. I can't pop any of them. Balloons popping. Up. Oh. oh, yes. There we go. It's very hard to depth perception with these. Most of them are behind me. There we go. <laughs> Model damaged. It's left fifteen. Uh, what should we do next? Heli precision flight balloon pop limbo. Aha! Limbo. Why is it? S I'm standing a bit too close to it, if you ask me. see it now. Let's try this then. How about that? What? What's the large limbo talk? Oh, is he talking about talk? Am I supposed to talk roll through this? Uh, good question, Eric. It's only so many hours in a day. I should get onto that. I will do one soon. Illegal ground contact. All right, so inverted. All right, all right. We'll try. Try again. Am I doing the right one? I don't. Uh, let's just do that.
No, I think it's easier the other way because I can actually see it. So this is the last thing I'm going to do, chaps. See, I can actually see it. Oh my god, I missed it. I have to be closer. They do position it, well I suppose you have to for depth of perception reasons. narrow. I've done it though, I did it the right way up so I should be able to do this. Oh for God's sake, my flying skills have gone rubbish. <laughs> Will it reset? Pass beneath the bar. Oh, it's reset. was under wasn't it I thought it went underneath it there's a bug in the game Once more, once more, and then I'm calling it a day. I think brain fade. I've been doing this so long now. Do you get like that? Yay! We have a winner. So there you go chaps, ladies and gents, that is it for this evening, thank you for watching, it's been fun, probably go back into to doing a bit of driving tomorrow or uh, using Digital Combat Simulator, somebody was asking about flying an A-10, so it'd be not fun to do an A-10 mission. So if you, a uh, little plug for the channel, but if you're not subscribed, then please subscribe. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more of this type of stuff, but continuing the same stuff, which is uh, model reviews and uh, when the show season starts. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! I said that the other day. Did you watch that video? I don't know why I said that. <laughs> oh my... Al from Essential RC is like, what are you on about when we're in a chicken dinner? I don't even know where that came from. Somewhere in the back of my head. So, yeah, thanks. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't done already. Uh, thanks for watching. A lot of fun. We'll do it again sometime. Look out for scheduled live stream events on Essential RC. But I've uh, been going now for just an hour and 15 minutes. So lovely. Had a lovely, lovely time. But it's time to call it a day. And uh, we'll see you soon. So take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. This is Dom from Essential RC. Dom, D-O-M. Don't call me Don. Dom, D-O-M. Uh, I'll see you soon. Peace. No worries, Ski Man. It was good to talk to you. Take care. Bye all.